Does testing ideas make sense? Let me answer this question quickly. Yes, it does make sense, and it could conclude my presentation. Testing ideas is strictly connected with innovation. Innovative companies use it to keep or gain their competitive advantage, or at least they should, because testing and experimenting give a constant flow of new information and insights from the market, which normally generates new business ideas and help companies grow. But what happens when the process ceases? Let's see. Nokia overslept the rise of smartphones. Kodak never fully believed photography would move to the digital world. Ford lost a quarter of a billion dollars to produce a car model no one wanted to buy. How different their situation would be if they tested the proper hypothesis at the proper time. A fundamental thing with testing any hypothesis is the need to have a hypothesis. We wanted to introduce a new e-commerce platform to the market, Shopware 6. Obviously, introducing a new service, you need to ask yourself two questions. Who the hell will buy it and why? Looking at what Shopware had to offer, we quickly assumed that everyone would love to have a very simple shop up and running in just four weeks. With a hypothesis in place, we created a toolkit to make testing possible. What did we include in the toolkit? Process, with a step-by-step -step description of how we want to deliver such a project. Cost estimation, with a full list of features included. Sales presentation, putting the previous two together and sprinkled business value on top of it. Demo shop, showing how wonderful the shop could look and work. Equipped with the toolkit, we could approach our potential clients without shame, even not having any commercial Shopware 6 project under our belt yet. Time to show how the test went. Let me give you some numbers. We talked to 10 potential clients who wanted to set up a shop quickly. Six didn't have a large enough budget even for such a basic implementation. Four came with a scope for implementation of much more than four weeks. We are working on two of those projects right now. Guess how many were interested in our four-week offer? None. The test took us three months, and as you can see, we assumed wrong. Does that mean that we failed? No, we learned that companies want to have shops up and running quickly, but most importantly, they want the shops to be unique, and it takes more than four weeks. By testing, we can avoid costly mistakes like building a team before testing the technology market potential. And we did most of the things intuitively, which proves that testing ideas is in Devante's DNA. If there is one thing to remember from this presentation, testing makes sense, and it doesn't matter if you are building a product or designing a service, so test whenever you can.